Hello everybody. This video extends the discussion of the previous one by looking at injury severity prediction. To predict injury severity with relative high accuracy, recent data mining and machine learning algorithms show their potential and provide some new insights. Traditional statistical regression techniques have been used to explain the factors underlying severe injuries as well as to predict the severity outcome of specific crashes. These regression models can directly provide a reasonable theoretical interpretation and precisely reveal the relationships of different factors through an analytical approach. However, they impose specific mathematical forms between dependent and explanatory variables, which rely on several predefined assumptions. Compared to other algorithms, the prediction performance of regression models is weak due to their fixed assumptions. Machine learning models are designed to improve the prediction accuracy with a non-parametric process. Without underlying functions, machine learning provides powerful algorithms for predictions and classifications. As one of the popular techniques in machine learning, ensemble learning combines the outputs of multiple statistical and machine learning models to obtain an improved prediction estimate and range. Because the performance of machine learning models highly rely on the quality of data sets, the first important step we need to focus is to prepare the data. We decide to use NAS data sets that are also applied in the last video. For this study, we only consider two vehicle crashes, and then we move all records with NAs in the dependent variable. Then we replace NAs in other variables by a method called multiple imputations by chain equations. Finally, we got 5,208 items in total. The next step is to reserve necessary independent variables. Here we use recursive feature elimination method and also remove the variables with high correlation. This table summarizes the features and their descriptions. After finishing the Preparation of data, it's time to start the machine learning process. We first divide the data set into the training set, occupying 75%, and the test, testing set, occupying 25%, and train the models through a 10-fold cross-validation by the training set, and then different types of single machine learning models like ordered logic regression model, random forest, suppose vector machine, and k nearest neighbor models, and uh, ensemble methods like um, boosting, bagging, and staking. For staking, we design a two-layer two -layer process to train the meta learner by learning from the outputs of different machine learning models, the meta-learner can at best combine their advantages by weighting the best outcomes more heavily. To mitigate the black box effect, we introduce the ensemble method sensitivity analysis to avoid overfitting and further check the impact of various features. We have three different functions to ensemble the 
importance results of multiple machine learning models. We first adopt the, the accuracy weighted method to ensemble all the, all the outcomes of different algorithms. That means the model with the highest accuracy will have the largest weight in explaining the, the importance of different variables. Besides a simple accuracy weighted average formulation, we can also apply a linear or logistic regression or other complex machine learning models as combiners at the top layer. The choice of combiners in importance analysis will finally depend on comparison results. Because the results are too much to explain here, we just pick some key points to speak here. If you feel interested, please check our papers for more information. Okay, for single machine learning models, we found gradient boosting machine model and uh, random forest model perform the best among all the single machine learning algorithms. That's because they are iteratively enhancing the classifiers. We also find the problem with multiple classifications of injury severity is that the minority takes quite small proportions in the data set. This imbalance indicates that multi-class models tend to improve their overall accuracy at the cost of ignoring small categories, which leads to a relatively low AUC. To address this issue, we aggregate ca uh, classifications into two categories, and at the same time, we sen resemble the training set inside of the cross-validation process by different methods. Finally, we found with by-class aggregation and a resampling method called SMOT, the bias problem can be solved. In this importance ranking, energy absorption is demonstrated as one of the es essential components that can dramatically raise the accuracy of machine learning models. Other significant features like crash types, surface types, and light conditions, which also have a great impact on the injury severity, are cons constant with conclusions from previous studies. The remaining factors may also have less predictive power. We believe by following this um, importance ranking, top features in this analysis can be valued in not only statistical re uh, analysis, but outcome prediction for future injury studies. To conclude, ensemble methods can combine some weak learners to build a strong meta algorithm and further improve the performance of single machine learning models. Due to the imbalanced issues, by class aggregation and resampling method are applied to solve this problem. Future large datasets with fewer unknown items should enable machine learning algorithms to improve AUC over current results. Further studies should aim to include more features into selection with the support of more detailed data. It can also extend st the scope of two vehicle to multiple vehicle involved crashes. That requires further exploration of multiple vehicle crash mechanisms and a larger data set because multiple vehicle crashes are really rare events. Thank you for watching.